Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this needing help. It traces really good with the exception of the center part. As you can see, it's pretty messed up. So what I did, I've already traced it and removed the white from all of the areas that I could, because I'm going to just basically redraw this, and this is what I told him I was going to do. So I made a circle or an ellipse and it's 1.37. And then I need to click on that circle, control D and make a duplicate and bring it in, holding down the shift key, bring it into like the bottom of that. I'm gonna control D again, bring that next one in to that. I must not have control D. I had my hand on the shift button and we're pretty close to the center I would uh, let's see and remember what you got your nudge factor on I've got my nudge factor set on four I'm gonna the outer circle is pretty good this evidently this thing isn't perfectly round so I'm gonna bring that circle down take this circle bring it over just a little bit Maybe make it possibly a little bit bigger, holding down the shift key. And a lot of times when you're trying to do that, just do like with your ratio locked, let's make it like 86% of the size I put. There we go. I put like 800. Now we're gonna take our image I don't know if it's still grouped together. I actually moved it, so I'm gonna move it back, change it back to four inches, grab our image. Okay, I've already got it separated. So I'm just gonna to have to do this with these circles. I'm gonna take the ellipses and move them over. And if you look, the inner circle and the outer circle are um, lines of thickness. So what we're going to do, let's have this in the page so we can kind of see it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make them yellow. No, I'm going to make them blue and I'm going to move them back so we can see them on top of the black. Tell you what, I'm going to take away the yellow for a second and I'm going to make this a certain point. Let's go, whoa. I forget where you we're working with something pretty little. So that's pretty close of a match. So that's one and a half. We'll say, okay, take the other one. And you can always use it up here. 1.5 points. And that's pretty good. Now the other circle we're going to actually use. So let's nudge those circles out of the way. Those ellipses. And we'll turn them back to, well, we can make them black now. <clears throat> and on this, we need these little bitty rectangles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get one that's perpendicular, and I'm going to try to make a rectangle about that size. And then I'm going to nudge it over to the other one. <clears throat> and evidently, I didn't get in the center. So one thing we can do, we can click on that item, hold down the shift key and collect that item and we can go C and it centered it on the circle. Now that we need to make sure it's a little longer. So we'll take the pick tool and we'll make it a little bit longer. And we actually need to figure out how far apart they are. So let's tell you what, let's group this together, control G. A lot of the videos I say are easy. Uh, this one is not that difficult, but it's not easy. So I'm gonna control U and ungroup them. And I did not start off working in the center of the page. Let's tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back up here. And I am going to just uh, guesstimate it, what the angle is because I need to work off this center. So we'll ungroup this for a second, control U, 
and I am going to find the center of this circle, which is right there. So I'm going to bring indexing lines and have it snap to it. Bring in, I've got my indexing lines off. There's a center right there. So then I can take this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. You've got to be able to see your X's. Let's control D and make a duplicate of it. And let's move the center rotation to the center. And then let's just rotate a little bit. And let's go three degrees. Now let's group this together. Control G and nudge it back over and see if we're kind of close. I'm going to call that close enough. So let's back up here. And let's ungroup it. Control U. Let's take this one. Control D and make a duplicate. Move the center rotation in the center and rotate it six, de six degrees. Control D. Wow. Excuse me. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use the transformation docker. I don't know. Um, go to Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation. <clears throat> we'll make it three degrees. I don't know how many uh, three and a 360. Um, I'm showing off my math skills here. Let's say 60. That's half of it. Let's say 120. And the only problem is if you made too many, but I don't think we could have made too many. They're good. We're good. So now what we need to do is take this circle and do like this and try to see. So you can see that my circle isn't in the center. So what we can do, let's take the ellipse, try to grab the and I might have uh, moved it a little bit. You can see right down here, we've got an ellipse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all these together, control G, and then I can get my ellipse back. I don't know where I put it. There it is right there. Let's just move it back. I think it'd be better to have these in the center. So let's select them both and hit C. Let's hit E for E. There we go. That's a little better. I actually probably need to make the ellipse a little bit smaller. You can see we got a group, so it's not the ellipse. Tell you what, let's nudge it up for a second, grab that item, and let's hold down the shift key and make it, let's make it 84 degrees, 84%. Now let's nudge these back. Because what we need, we need to cut the edge off these. So we're going to try using the weld tool. And that worked. With the exception, it took away my line. So we can make another ellipse holding down the control button. Get it in the center. You know what? My indexing lines are no longer in the center. Uh, let's take this item. See, my indexing line needs to be right there. Holding down the shift key and make this just a little bit bigger. We want it almost touching the black edge. Holding down the shift key, make it a little bit bigger. Whoop, got the wrong one. The ellipse is a little bit easier to grab when it's by itself. There we go. Now I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill in this with black. There's our part of that right there. And let's just kind of bring it over and see what happens. And for the video, we're good enough. So now we need to do the, I don't know what I did with those inner two rings. Hopefully this is still grouped together. Nope. I don't know where my other, my other blue rings went. I'm going to hit F4. Nope, my blue rings are gone, so let's just draw them again. I must have hit delete. 
So let's just bring in, and I'm, I'm working off the cuff here. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Tell you what, let's call that good. Let's just move it over, move it over here. And I do not want to move my other ellipse. So I'm going to change my nudge factor. Just remember that you got four, and we're going to grab our ellipse and just nudge it up ever so slightly. Well, I'm using arrow keys. That looks pretty good. Now we need to make another one. Control D and make it quite a bit smaller, holding down the shift key. And I'm looking at the other page over here. So we got this circle and this circle. And then in between these circles are these little squares, which are gonna be relatively easy. So let's go ahead and do those. Let's see how many there are. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's say there's 15 times 4, so there would be 60. They look like squares that are on a uh, on an angle. So let's rotate it 90 degrees. Well, 45 degrees. Come on. And let's bring it down a little bit, holding down the shift key. Let's take it over to the other picture and just kind of see. And the person that I'm doing this for, hopefully they'll, uh, if you really take some time, that's good enough, I'm going to say. I'm just showing them on the video. Hopefully they can do it themselves. Just give them some ideas. Because the hardest part is going to be to get that circle into that figure. There we go. Now we're going to double click on it. So take the center rotation and the other side and we need get out a calculator 360 divided by what did I say 50, 60? Well, that's 10 or 6. So I need 6 degrees. And I need 59 of them. There we go. And uh, let's back up here. And go ahead and make this black with no outline. Now we made a new object, so we have to... Well, the center rotation is still there. There's your little block. Now we need to make these lines thicker. And if I remember right, there were one and a half points. We'll go ahead and make them black. Whoop. Make it black. Ah, I'm hitting right. I need to hit, I mean, I was hitting left click. I need to hit right click. That probably needs to be a little bit smaller. Holding down the shift key. Make it black. Make it one and a half points. And I think we're pretty good. Now I'm going to take away, there's a, there's an outline in there, but since we have some other outlines, we, and if you look right down, we've got a, uh, it tells you what you've grabbed. Now I'm going to group all this together since we've got it done. Control G. I'm going to take a break. We're going to do the other part and we're going to insert this into this behind this B because you see, we've got some facets where the circle is not going to show. So far, so good. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.